How has the arrest affected your life? <laughs> Tamara Lynch! Tamara Lynch! Tamara Lynch! All of us thought that Lynch! when the trucks left Ottawa, that was going to be the end of it. But we didn't realize that was just the beginning. We made a promise, and going back to this trial is kind of poetic, because I'm going back to fight again. The blue collar communities actually stood up, and look at what they've done to try and put us down. I really hope that they would listen. Is there a reason that you can give as for why you will not have any negotiations with this particular group? I have attended protests and rallies in the past uh, when I agreed with the goals, when I supported the people uh, expressing their concerns and their issues. I've never in a million years thought we'd be there three weeks and have not one single person even come to ask us a single question. The federal government has invoked the Emergencies Act. The police promised they would let them retreat peacefully. There's no leadership or their intent on violence. Average Canadians had enough of the mandates and they wanted somebody to stand up. My strengths are logistics, organization, and administration. How can I help you? And it took her up on that. Hey, that it was almost like a salvation. Doctor, close up that gun. Nobody in this convoy will be inciting violence or uttering threats. That is not what we are here to do. Look at this, you guys. Oh my God. I am an eight year old. We wanted to show our support again by providing you with some of our favorite snacks. People that would come up and open the door and put bags of food in. The small fringe minority of people who are on their way to Ottawa holding unacceptable views. Oh my gosh, look at this overpass. Do not represent the views of Canadians. Hello, fringe minorities. I don't know if we'll ever forget this. We're fully supported to be here for as long as it takes. And we are in the jacuzzi making peace. I walked those streets for three weeks straight. I seen the love. I felt the truth and I saw the lies. Honk honk, which is an acronym for Hail Hitler. They started calling us names, racist terrorists. Russian actors who would be continuing to fuel things. The government and the media made all kinds of allegations against the protesters. We were coming to rape and pillage. There was an apartment building that was set on fire. Accusations that there were protesters planning to bomb the children's hospital, stealing food from the homeless. The truck drivers all had weapons in their trucks, and none of them were true. This operation was able to proceed without death or serious bodily injury. There was bodily injury to participants. <laughs> We investigated for interference, and we did not see a threat to the security of Canada. You didn't see any intelligence of sabotage or anything in support of sabotage? That's correct. He went down on his knees, put his hands behind his head, and then still gets beat up. I was completely destroyed. I beat blood. That hate comes from all the misinformation, the lies that were being fed to those police officers. I want to go for a coffee. If we see you again, it'll be different. Get out of here. There was supposed to be a hockey game in Ottawa. That never happened because the Emergencies Act shut us down. We've been busy on the defense, raising money. Shaba and Jody come up and do the ceremonial puck drop. Try not to stay up at night worrying about being in jail, but... No one gets left behind. We have to make sure that we have good representation because now I've seen the difference between what a good lawyer can do and what a not so good lawyer can do. How's your client feeling right now? They just don't want people to ever protest against them again. You have to understand that there's a lot of things at work here that need to prevent this from being a success. This is my hill. Hold the line. 